What's up YouTube, I'm Mr. No Name, or Max as people know in the real world, and today I'm bringing you guys a gameplay that's not actually mine. This is somebody else's who sent it in to me to commentate over, and I thank him very, very much for it. All of his stuff is in the description below. He has an Instagram, a Twitter, a Twitch channel, and a YouTube channel. Uh, he plays, you know, game battles and stuff. He plays competitive Call of Duty, obviously, so... Go check him out, I'm sure he would appreciate it, and uh, he's got some good stuff, so definitely go check him out. And uh, basically, just a few things before I get too into it here, um, my capture card is still giving me issues. <laughs> um, I have found a few ways to make it work, and I don't think any of them are actually really good for the technology behind it, because, you know, it involves freezing it or putting ice around it, but um, it's, it's kind of working again. Um, also... I've got, in, I believe, two gameplays submitted to me to actually analyze so far, um, and then this one, which is just for regular commentating over. So um, thank you guys, and you guys can keep them coming. Um, I'll, I'll probably have a gameplay analyzed, and I'll put that out on Tuesday, maybe Thursday. It'll take a while to do, because it's a, a very difficult video to make, but um, I'll, I'll do my best on it, so that should be out soon. So, getting into it, today's video is going to be about the roles in the respawn game types for competitive, and that's going to be Blitz and Domination. And basically, uh, there's a couple things that we need to be aware of on respawn. First of all, is that all of the roles need to be fairly aggressive in respawn game types. You can't be nearly as passive as you can be in S&D to succeed, so you got to keep that in mind. And also, you need to understand that... A, a lot of times in respawn, you have to change roles mid game, mid life, even even if you don't have the right class. You know, there's several different Slayer roles, several different OBJ type roles that I'll be getting into, and you got to be able to switch between them depending on where you spawn and your teammates spawn. You can't just be like, oh no, I'm only doing this one. So you got to be fluid with it. Just keep that in mind. And yeah, so getting into it, the, I'll start with the roles and blitz. And uh, also remember that all of these are generalizations about the roles. You can change them to fit your play style or your team strategies, however you need. This is just kind of the basics behind it. So the first role in Blitz is the Spawn Trapper. And this is typically going to be the AR player, probably the only AR player on your entire team. And this person is going to be passive once they're in position and very aggressive when they're not in position you know they're just moving up the map very quickly trying to get into that spawn trap position uh, possibly using agility or marathon um, not you don't necessarily have to have that though for this um, you probably want a trophy system or blast shield or tack resist something like that you know you need some survivability because people are gonna know where you are for a while if you do this correctly you need to be, have a very very good shot and um, be able to kill people close range and long range because you're probably going to be looking at multiple spawning positions. Of course, it still depends on the map, but, you know, just be able to do well with an AR for this role. Uh, the next one is going to be the OBJ, and this is the just the regular OBJ player. Uh, this person is going to have a submachine gun and speed perks like, uh, you know, agility or marathon. And then you might want, you know, the ready up, steady aim, things like that, just so that you can win those gunfights that you get into. Uh, probably tack resist as well, just so that you can keep running. Um, not necessarily blast shield, because you can probably get away from the nade with all your speed. But stuns, you know, they kind of go off right away. So that's that's why you want the tack resist. And your goal as the regular OBJ player is to simply run and score. Um, you're, you're just trying to get to one side of the map as quickly as you possibly can. It's, you know, you're going to be not necessarily winning all your gunfights because you're going to be sprinting a lot and you may not be able to get it up in time, but your goal is just to get to the other side of the map as quickly as possible. The next type of OBJ player is the sneaky OBJ, and this person, or this, this role comes into play when you're having a hard time setting up the spawn traps and they're able to move up at least to mid-map. Uh, this person is going to have speed and stealth, so, you know, an incog, and they're going to have probably a smoke or two, and this person is going to slowly move up the map, most likely sitting in corners, um, letting them run past, juking people out, things like that, and then getting those really sneaky caps that nobody expects. Um, you know, if you want to see examples of this, watch Rambo play Blitz. I mean, he plays aggressive, but he also plays very, very sneaky, so... That's a, one good person to look at for it. Um, 
so yeah, that's the sneaky OBJ. The next one is going to be the OBJ Slayer, and this is going to be uh, the person who's probably still going to be running a sub, and they're going to work very, very closely with the Spawn Trapper because sometimes on some of these maps, it's just too much for the Spawn Trapper to handle um, You know, all of the spawns or the entire map necessarily. So this person is for extra map control. This person can still be running portals and just like the spawn trapper can you know score portals if nobody's set up but this person is going to be the last of the obj's to go in if you've got it set up try and let your other obj players go in first this person can take over the spawn trapper role this person's probably gonna have an mtar so that you have that extra uh range and damage just like you know most people are running the mtar over any other submachine gun right now but anyway yeah this person needs speed and survivability uh, it's also most likely this person's job to rotate back to the base when um, you know you're being pushed and you you haven't cleared your base yet. That's typically what this person does. Although everybody needs to be able to do that. So yeah, those are the main roles in Blitz. Uh, j just keep in mind also. I think most people know this by now, but uh, some may not. You don't need somebody who is watching your base the entire time. You all need to push out of your base unless you've been pushed back into your base at that point you have to go into your base clear it out and then move forward and get map control so i just wanted to clear that up in case anybody didn't know that yet and then getting into the roles for domination some of these are kind of a little bit of an overlap from blitz but that's why they're going together so well so the first one is the slayer and this person is going to be this puts in particular this person is going to be watching the overextend so on maps like octane if you have the mechanic spawn this person is probably going to be at single humvee or top broken to try and watch that half of the map and uh because you don't want them overextending from strip and getting those easy caps uh this person is going to be a very very passive ar maybe a submachine gun depending on the map and uh you're going to have a trophy system maybe blast shield tack resist things like that those are the kind of perks you're going to want uh, because people are going to know where you are. You're not going to be moving around that much. So you need survivability. Uh, next role is going to be the Spawn Trapper Slayer. And this person is going to have an AR. Um, aggressive and passive, you know, depending on where they are on the map. Because they've got to be able to push into position. And once they're there, they need to, you know, stay rock solid with it. They need to be fairly passive about it. And just kind of stay alive and keep keep everybody pinned down in the base. Uh, this person is also probably going to have a trophy system, blast shield, attack resist, ICU, those those sort of things. And then the uh, the next role is the OBJ, and this person is going to have a submachine gun, going to play very aggressive, um, blast shield, attack resist, those sort of things. Again, just because you know in domination there's a lot of nades, a lot of stuns going down. Uh, this person is going to be the one trying to cap that B flag. That's this person's goal, just to control B flag and get get that cap early on um, so yeah then the next role is going to be the support player who's gonna help the OBJ the most and actually probably the OBJ and support will switch off roles very very frequently just helping each other get those caps support is gonna have a submachine gun gonna play fairly aggressive uh, probably gonna be running a trophy system to help block all those nades and everything coming in this person could also be helping the uh, slayers to you know get that map control and everything so that's Basically, the roles for the for domination and blitz guys. Um, obviously, these are generalizations. You can change it up, like I said before, depending on your needs. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So, as you guys can see, we're coming to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, then please like, comment, and or subscribe. If you didn't, then let me know what I can do better next time. Constructive criticism goes a long way, guys. Until next time, everybody. Peace out.